Yeah, Joyce, you mentioned $40,000 worth of damage. That's the estimate, but that amount of damage caused in just over eight minutes when somebody simply walked through an unlocked door. 911, operator 35, where's your emergency? Hi, um, I just called from Miller Park um, about a gentleman on the field. Yes. Um, that situation has escalated. That escalation is this joyride on the field inside Miller Park. He now has a tractor that he's driving around on the field and he's like tearing the field up. Miller Park's security team had already called police when they first spotted the man that morning, then called back when he emerged from right field riding a tractor. Yeah, I do have the officers in route, but now he's driving. What well, is it like? What tractor do you say? It's like a front loader tractor. It's like a John Deere tractor, yeah. I'm assuming they didn't, they left the keys in it or something, because obviously this isn't normally an issue. So, um, but yeah, he went out to the field, saw a tractor sitting there, jumped on it, now he's driving around. For eight and a half minutes, cameras followed the man as he rides, ripping apart the field, causing an estimated $40,000 in damage. He only stops when the tractor appears to get stuck just behind the mound. But how did he get in? Rewind the tape and you'll see the same person outside the park pulling on several doors before he finds one unlocked and makes his way right out onto the field. And after the damage is done, the man leaves through the first base side and finds his way out a different door. Eight and a half minutes on the field. Well, Derek, police arrested a man that they believe is responsible. What did they say that person told them? Well, Joyce, according to a copy of the police report and the narrative police officers wrote in it, the man who was in custody said he was trying to write his name in cursive with the tractor's tires, but said the tractor was too slow. He is charged with disorderly conduct as well as criminal damage to property. A judge ordered him to undergo a mental evaluation. Joyce.